Huh, okay. It's kind of a great way to start the morning, honestly. Woo! I've been looking forward to this ever since my resupply because I've now resupplied with peanut butter and jet puffed marshmallow cream. I'm in the South. I'm in Virginia. I don't know if that's technically considered the South, but they don't have fluff. All right. That's like a Northeast thing, but I really wanted a peanut butter and fluff, a fluff or not a wrap, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to make the most of this jet puffed marshmallow cream and see if it's anything like fluff. I have a feeling it's not going to be, but I'll give it a try. All right, this actually slaps, so yes. <laughs> it's not like exactly fluff. It's still really, really good. Excuse me, sir. Sir. I'd like to pass through, please. See, this is why you pay attention when you hike. Sheesh. Down in the river valley, walking along the James River this morning. And I mean, what a difference from even a week ago. I'm walking in just, you know, green paths now, which is amazing. And I'm watching it happen in real time, which is equally amazing. And spring is on its way. Crossing the James River on a suspension bridge. And I can feel it moving under my feet. Fun. This has been a long, miserable, cold, wet day. And I generally say about five things I'm thankful for at the end of the day. This shelter is all five of them. Oh, yeah, cool, cool pond too. Well, just finishing up my lunch break here and I was putting on my shoes and I noticed that uh, this hole I already knew about. Um, I did not know about <laughs> this hole right here. Okay, so I need new shoes. <laughs> I am two and a half days out from getting new shoes. So look at that. <laughs> you just gotta laugh, you know. They call it the Virginia Blues. 
Virginia is such a big state that like a lot of hikers uh, report that they feel just like completely hopeless and like their through hike is not going anywhere. And um, I don't think I've gotten that totally yet, but like today has been a tough day. It's not even close to done. I've got like 10 miles left. Um, but then, you know, you got a view like this. Helps you bring it back, back into focus. <sighs> All right, let's do it. I walked 26 or 27 miles for this and I'm about to drink water right from the heart of the mountain and it's gonna be glorious. Here we go. Well, I just made it to the priest shelter and it's a custom for the hikers that make it to the priest shelter to confess their hiking sins to the priest in this log book right here. So I went ahead and confessed all of my sins, wrote them down in that log book right there. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, Husky, are you going to tell us what your hiking sins are? No, I'm not. That's between me and Hiker Jesus, and he's going to absolve all of them, so there's no need to tell you. And I guess if you really want to know what they are, hike up to the priest. Go ahead and read the logbook. They're right here. Goodbye, Ultra Olympus Fives, Irwin, Tennessee, to Waynesboro, Virginia. You served me well. You hung in there. You were the best of them, but you're way too dilapidated now. And in their place, I've picked up the Ultra Temps, Temp 4, and fitted them with my Super Feet. Um, they're not exactly the same kind, but uh, I don't know, they look pretty good. I love the color too. They're not gonna stay that color though. Good National Park Service Organic Act of 1916 morning to you all. And yes, that means I am in Shenandoah National Park. I'm climbing up into Shenandoah right now. And I am told, and I hope that this is the case, that this is one of the easiest sections in the whole Appalachian Trail. And I've got my bright orange new shoes. And so that's gonna make things even easier. And they have no holes in them and I can't see my sock from the outside, which is good. So here we go, Shenandoah. I've actually, I've been kind of down. I had the Virginia Blues, like from the section between Daleville and uh, Waynesboro. And uh, that was getting me down. Now I took some time off, I'm feeling a lot better. And I'm very, very excited for Shenandoah. Let's do it. It's the morning of day two in Shenandoah National Park. Um, I am blown away. I thought that the whole trail was going to be like what Shenandoah Park is like. Very, very moderate gradients of terrain. 
beautiful landscapes, uh, amenities. <laughs> And um, yeah, the rest of the trail is not like this. This is probably one, this might be my favorite area of the trail, like so far. Um, I'm having a blast. It's, it's a really nice break from the other areas of Northern Virginia that were just super tough. So I'm really enjoying it. I haven't really broken a sweat on any of the climbs in Shenandoah yet. And you've got beautiful sunrises from Black Rock. And I'm just overall really having a good time here. It's only going to be four days long, is the unfortunate thing. Unless I just stay in the park and just hike this. I was thinking about that. Good day. Today is the last day in Shenandoah for me. I have 13 miles before I am out of the park. So I've cleared the park in four days. And it has felt like a vacation from the actual AT. The trails are beautiful, they're well-maintained. Nothing in this park was particularly difficult except for the heat and the water carries between uh, places. But everything about Shenandoah reminds me of like why I am out here in the first place <laughs> to just really enjoy like nature and hiking and views like this. So that's it, that's it for Shenandoah. It went very fast, that's how that goes. Anyway, 13 miles and then I make it to a hostel that's outside the north terminus of Shenandoah. Let's do it. Henry, I almost just stepped on you, dude. When you lay out here in the path, it makes it easy for people to step on you. Please be careful. Anyway, how you doing? How are the kids? And this means that I am out of Shenandoah. All right. This is the north uh, terminus of Shenandoah, where you would, if you're coming in this way, pick up your little permit right here. But I don't got to do that, because I already did it. So it was a, a pretty quick walk to the highway from that point, and I got brought here to the Stumble Inn Hostel. I really like this hostel a lot. It feels like a chill, chill basement. Um, so from here, I am like three days out from the halfway point at Harper's Ferry. So... Got that to look forward to.